Welcome to Storytime with Grammy Field. I have a different book for you. I've never read this one before, but I do like the author. Her name is Jan Brett, and this book is called Armadillo Rodeo. Armadillos, one, two, three, bow, let's go! Ma Armadillo called to her boys as they headed out to dig deep in the heart of Texas Hill County country. Stay close. Her boys didn't see too well, just like all armadillos, and she didn't want to lose them, especially Bo, who was always wandering off. One, two, three, Bo. Don't go getting distracted on me, but Bo already was. He was looking at a lizard. Curious as always, Bo followed the lizard down to Can Creek, just as Harmony Jean came sliding down the bank from Curly H, wearing her brand new boots. Pointy-toed, high-heeled, hand-tooled, chili pepper red boots with fancy cutouts, tall tops with a Curly H brand. She was here to scuff them up. Today was rodeo day and Harmony Jean was not about to ride in a barrel race looking like a tenderfoot in new boots. She found a muddy place and hopped and splashed until her boots had a worn, lived-in look. Pleased, she whooped and hollered, Look at me! Won't you just look at me? Bo's ears perked up at the sound of that pretty voice. He lifted his head and squinted. What he saw was all that red leather shimmering and prancing over the creek bed. Why, for sure, it looked to Bo as if he had found a friend. A rip-roaring, rootin' tootin', shiny red armadillo. Bo grinned. Howdy, he smiled, he shouted. So he doesn't see the boots. Remember, he can't see very well. He sees the red boots. Looks like armadillos to him. Harmony Jean, job done, lit off through the back 40 to the curly H. Bo never looked back. He blinked and squinted as he trottled after his bright red friend as fast as he could go. Wait up, he called. Back at the creek, his mama twitched an ear. Is that hollering one of my boys, she asked. Armadillos, one, two, three. Oh no, Bo, he's done it again. Bo arrived at the rodeo just as Harmony Jean was swinging a leg up on her pony. Her pony's name is Spotlight. He saw the perky nose and silvery tail of the red armadillo leaping up ahead of him. Wait for me, Bo cried. He's still thinking those boots are a friend, an armadillo friend. When Spotlight felt Bo on his back, he gave a hopping buck. Harmony Jean stayed aboard, but Bo was tossed high in the air. The little armadillo landed in the dust. As he unrolled, he smiled, brushed himself off, and shouted, Hey, partner, you're my kind of friend. <laughs> Bo tried to catch sight of that rootin' tootin' red armadillo, but he had to move fast. As he zigged and he zagged across the arena, Ma Armadillo, with her three boys, was hot on his trail asking everyone she met if they had seen her bow. Bo was still looking when he saw the armadillo heading for the barbecue. I'm right behind you, Bo called.
But before he could catch up, the armadillo disappeared under the blue checkered tablecloth. Bo dove after him and peered around. His friend was nibbling on something green. So Bo ambled over and took a big bite. It was a red hot, bright green jalapeno pepper. His mouth was on fire. Bo ran out and doused his head in lemonade to stop the burn. Delicious, he gulped. What's next? Do you see the boot? Kind of squished the pepper and he thought it, they were eating it. <laughs> Chow time over. The cowhands got out their fiddles and everyone went into the barn for a little dancing. Bo struggled to see his pal. Finally, he spotted a flash of red right in the middle of all those stomping feet. Bo two steps toward his frisky new friend and cut in. Harmony Jean went tap, slap, tap, slide, tap with her right foot, then heel stomp, heel kicked with her left, and Bo was hurled high into the air. As he landed in the hayloft, he let out a rebel yell, Yahoo! Not far away, Ma Armadella heard the commotion. That's my bow, she cried. <laughs> By the time Bo made it down the hay chute, the dance floor was empty. Harmony Jean and her friends had settled around the campfire. She looked down at her boots. They were starting to pinch. She slipped them off and tossed them behind her. See where she tossed them? She's tossing her boots off. Bo bounded up to the pointy-toed, high-heeled, hand-tooled, chili pepper red boot. Howdy, he said. You're a mighty hard fella to keep up with. My name's Bo. What's yours? His new friend didn't answer. Bo stepped closer. He could see the perky nose and the shy smile. What's next, he asked. But instead of answering, his friend fell over, plop, and Bo was looking, left looking down an opening. He stuck his head in and sniffed. It didn't smell like an armadillo. He poked his nose against the leather. It didn't feel like an armadillo. He squinted up close. It didn't look like an armadillo. Nose in the air, he wailed. You're not an armadillo! Not far away, the sharp ears of his ma recognized the voice of her boy. His three brothers heard him too. Their search was over. Boys, let's go get Bo and head on home. So there he's screaming, just saying this is not an armadillo. And here comes his ma and his three brothers. One, two, and three. Time to sleep, Bo, his ma said. We have got to go out and dig tomorrow. Yes, ma. Bo's thinking about the curly H. He knows that whenever he wants a change, he can mosey on down for some red hot, red hot chili pepper excitement, and his ma will always be there to bring him home. Thank you for joining me for story time. I hope you enjoyed.